We go over what they were going to provide for us, or at least some facts, and then we go over why they're cancelled and we make our assumption. Here we go. There was a Pirates of the Caribbean game, and I've never been a really huge fan of it, but I definitely could see it being a fun world to actually explore. So when people ask me to do a, a video about trying to figure out why this certain Pirates of the Caribbean uh, got cancelled, I was like intrigued just because they seemed really hype about it, and we all know that most Pirates of the Caribbean games that were made for the movies sucked. So let's get talking about what it had going for it. It was said that this began development right after Torok, which was the studio's first game that was creating it. So I'm going to take a guess that that's around 2008 or it might have started 2009 when the actual development actually, you know, picked up. It was giving you this kind of open world exploring the FCs and uh, islands. Uh, and that's kind of exciting for Pirates of the Caribbean. There were games before in the series, like I mentioned, but never in an open world type game. The basic idea sounded bold, almost a Dragon Age origin type opening. Um, the choices that you would make would affect how not only you fight, but how people will react to you and, of course, the future of the story. It was giving you a lot of choices, which is definitely back in 2008 after Mass Effect and Dragon Age were coming out with their games was all the rage. So this is the Pirates world that might have given the fans what they wanted. James Starling, um, that was the main character, would fight with both hand-to-hand -hand and ship combat. Hand-to-hand -hand sounded very similar to Witcher 2 or Assassin's Creed, timing your attacks would result in combos and eventually finishing moves. Free flow type of gameplay, but RPG elements, this could have actually been a great type of combo, almost similar to Kingdom of Amar, but maybe even better with the pirates backing. Ship battles would be a major highlight of the game and for fans. You'd get a ship called the Nemesis and you could fully customize this beast. You would make your crew up and then that crew would actually affect how the water battles went. You could even board ships and get more loot that way instead of just shooting it and sinking the uh, other ships. This all sounds great, right? So why the fuck was it cancelled? Well, I came up with two major big reasons after looking at a bunch of different uh, sites and sources stating this was cancelled for this and this and this. One is that Disney was going to do these restricted teams, and they laid off more than 100 people at the studio who were creating this game. Not only that, but Propaganda, I believe is the name of the studio, was working on Tron Evolution. I'm sure at the time Disney figured that Tron would be a bigger seller because... Um, well, the movie was coming out, and little did they know that the movie sucked, and so the game didn't sell shit because probably they both sucked. Since the game didn't sell well, the studio was then shut down soon after. But, what was the other reason that maybe this game wasn't made or fully invested in? When Disney didn't shut down all the other studios at the same time as it did this, a lot of people were questioning it. Well, my belief is because Torok, the first game that the studio made, did well in sales but was a pretty terrible game in scores. Tron also did bad in sales and in scores, so Disney figured Pirates would probably follow the same trend and then decide to cancel it. Which is a shame because I believe it actually looked pretty decent and a definite improvement for the development team in terms of creating a game. So we may never get an open world Pirates game. The one made based off the movies just sucks. So this could have been the Pirate game that fans really wanted or even sh shit people that just like pirate world would have been really good um and just the rpg elements and the world to explore it sounded pretty pretty cool and ambitious let's just hope that assassin's creed 4 actually lives up to the pirates name for now though we gotta let this little title rest and hopefully another pirates comes out and not a movie game because those shit suck